today is not just an auspicious day but it is also a day where it gives you a reminder a chance to actually take your journey as a being to the next level today is guru purnima and all of you who does not know the essence of guru purnima i won't go much in detail because you can find it on google everywhere but i would definitely tell you The essence of Guru Purnima is when Adi Yogi became the Adi Guru, when he transmitted all his knowing, all his knowledge and transferred it to all the Sapta Rishis. Okay, so Guru Purnima is considered as one of the most auspicious day and night that you can actually experience, not just you know, see what's happening around you, but actually experience. So when you sit in the full moon, okay, under the full moon ray, it actually enhances and changes a lot of thing within you. You can also feel a lot of, you know, changes within you when you are perceptive enough, when you just keep a little bit of silence or be in a zone where you can actually feel the changes within you. So why I'm sharing this today is and not talking about business or other stuff is because if you understand the importance of it and how you can actually tap into this experience, all you need to do is just cut off from all the kinds of thoughts, doubts, baggages, self-doubt and everything and just understand what a guru can do to your life. So. If you are somebody who has a guru, you know what I'm talking about. And if you're somebody who is still in search of a guru or who wants to have a guru in his or her life, then all you need to do is just deepen your longing so much, so strong that the guru actually appears in your life. Yes, many people actually go out, look for their gurus. That is another way of doing it. And then they figure out, okay, I want to be the disciple or, you know, the student of this guru. And it has to be both ways. The guru also needs to accept you. Similarly, you know, there are people who go out looking for one but they are not able to find it and there are people who does not have this facility or they don't have this enough i would say time or conveniences to actually go out and look for it because you can't just sit online and look for something right something so deep something so unique so one of the best ways to do it is deepen your longing so much that the guru actually appears and i'm saying this because this is coming from my own personal experience right in front of you because this is not some kind of a bookish knowledge or anything all my life i did not believe in all these things i did not believe in anything out there okay so it was really funny because when life threw bounces at me one after the another after the another because i was not learning my lesson enough so of course i was going through the same or similar situation again and again in a pattern in a loop until and unless i realized that i have to break this pattern is when I was in a phase where I actually met my guru and that was the phase that the entire shift happened within me. It's very difficult to describe in words but I will try to put it in words so that you understand it in a better way. That so that previous me is dead and if I sit here and look back who was this person it is completely unrecognizable. So I would not know who this person is and who this person is now if I do not have the context of how this change happened and whatever happened previously was something that was so painful I was in such a rock bottom phase in my life personally and professionally that I thought my life is over and I'm sure you can relate to it because majority of you are have actually gone through that kind of phases in your different manner and uh, when the longing was so strong and i didn't know that i was looking for a guru i was looking for something specific because i didn't know what i was looking for i was seeking but i didn't know what i was seeking i was absolutely clueless and that is where the change happened that is where all the beauty happened and from then on life has not been the same of course okay so 
your thoughts and emotions your way of decision making the people around you your life personally professionally everything starts changing and conduct in a different manner and you might think that okay i want a guru who is very sweet with me who is like a lala with me and that if you are expecting that it might not happen because a genuine a true guru is there to shed off all the unnecessary things that is there in your life okay and is going to tell you right in your face what are some of the things that you're bullshitting yourself what are some of the things that you need to completely let go and those things will happen so a lot of people will go out from your life a lot of things will just go away from your life and you will feel like oh i had this job this is not there i had these friends these people in my life this is not there and you sit and cry well if you just look through it your life is actually changing all the peels are getting peeled off so the new you is coming out the real you is coming out so that's the closest i can define you as to having the importance or you know the significance of a guru in life because that being to trample on your ego can kill away your ego your fears your victim mindset your excuses and everything but for that you need to be open and receptive enough for that and understanding enough that this is what is happening and it is happening for my own good because these are the things i'm most scared of and all my fears are going away so that is another way of looking at it so in short what i'm trying to say is if you have still not found your guru it's time you you know have somebody as your guru and i'm not talking about the typical coaches mentors or people like this who have not attained to certain level of spiritual mastery because you can't call somebody a guru who has not attained to that level of spiritual mastery because when you meet that person you actually feel that difference you actually experience that difference and i'm using the word experience because once again it's very difficult to describe it in words so this guru purnima if there is something within you that wants to go beyond who you are in every way possible then just look inward make your longing so strong so genuinely strong that you will find your guru and have a beautiful guru purnima Thank you so much.